Hello everyone. So today I want to talk talk about uh, FMPEG one more time because I think it is amazing and uh, and I'm on this mission to promote it as much as I can. So just to give you some context, some background, I have been trying to use FMPEG for a lot of things. Right now I'm making this video using using FMPEG. I use FFmpeg for concatenating the videos, for split, splitting the videos, for adding some background music to the videos, and of course, uh, live streaming as well. And it is great. Now, I also want to uh, mention that I do have one DSLR with me, and sometimes I use it. I think it is a common thing. People have cameras, these big, heavy cameras. But they don't really, really use it for everything. I do have a couple of DSLR cameras and uh, I use them once in a while. And for making videos, I prefer using this uh, small webcam, this uh, Logitech, I guess, something, something. I've, I, I don't even know the name of the uh, model. But yeah, it is some Logitech standard webcam. And it is fine. It is fine for like making normal videos when I'm doing some thing or some things on the on, on the on the desktop but sometimes i do also make videos using my dslr the main problem with dslr is that the size is really big so i made one video recently which i uploaded on youtube as well this video if you look at it i'll probably play it, play it for just a couple of seconds so if you follow my channel if you follow my content Okay, so if you look at the quality, it is uh, 1080p, 50 FPS, and uh, I'll also play this uh, play this video locally. Now the video is this one. So if you follow my channel, if you follow my content or whatever I have to say online, I'm mm -hmm. sure if you anything. Give me as a reminder that. All right, I think that is enough. So what I wanted to talk about is the original size of the video that I made using DSLR was uh, was 4 GB and it, it is I think just me talking for uh, 9 minute 15 seconds roughly or 17 seconds and it was a 4 GB video definitely definitely too much for uh, what I uh, I mean I don't really mind I mean, I, I have enough enough storage, but uh, 4GB is a bit too much for just someone who is recording a video sitting on a desk. I could have I could have used FFM back, but you know, I don't really have this setup with me all the time. I mean, of course, I can move my it is a laptop ThinkPad X20. I can take it anywhere I want. It is very portable, by the way, uh, and I can also attach the webcam. But I usually prefer having my workstation. So this laptop is more or less like a workstation and uh, I'm also a bit lazy. So I made this video using, I mean, the video that I am just showing you using DSLR. But even if you're making a video which is uh, not really for professional use, you still want the quality. But 4GB is still really too much. But of course, using FFmpeg, you can do a lot of wonderful things. So I used FFmpeg to reduce the size. And of course, you know, there is a decrease in the quality but if i show you the show you the file size it is uh, roughly uh, i think uh, so it is 74 something mb probably 70 mb something it is in bytes i guess so uh, it is really you know extreme compression but for what i need for this video i think i don't really mind uh, uh, this reduction of the quality it is not bad to be honest if you look at the f the, the the video itself so if you follow my so the, the video quality is uh, not massively different from the original video quality uh, and uh, it, it is still 1080p 50 fps uh, still looking fine but of course you know it is only 70 something mb and it is a drastic decrease in the size so this is one 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 good thing that you can do with FFmpeg. The command is actually very simple. I should have shown you the command earlier, but uh, you just need to 
pass in. I'm, I'm basically using this uh, H.265 format, which is, I believe, a new format. It uh, it can drastically reduce the size. So use this command if you want and uh, play with it. Change the parameters, but uh, this worked wonderfully for me. I was able to reduce the size uh, from 4 GB to 70 MB. Can you imagine the difference? It is really a lot. And uh, 70 MB file is nothing really. I mean, you can move, move it anywhere you want. And that is my biggest concern. I don't really want to fill up my hard disk with big 4 GB, 10 GB video files. And uh, it is always a pain to, you know, take backups uh, because I try to take backups. I, I have like a couple of hard disks and I try like once in a while, whenever I, whenever, whenever I am reminded that I need to take a backup, I basically do a R-Sync, simple R-Sync. I, I don't really have any RAID setup. I, uh, you know, in, in my home lab, I don't really have any home lab to be honest, but maybe one day I will configure a RAID storage server. But uh, for the timing, I just use hard disk. I had like one, R, one Raspberry Pi that was actually uh, my MPD server along with uh, uh, it was, I mean, it, it was it was also my Samba server. Then I switched to a netbook. But for the timing, I'm fine with hard disk. And uh, when you have big files, big MP, MP4 files or MOV files, it is a messy problem. And, uh, and, uh, it will take some time to be honest. I mean, uh, uh, if you run this command, it won't be like instant as compared to the other commands. If you're doing concatenation or splitting or removing audio or replacing the audio, those things are, those operations are quick because you're, you're not really transcoding or encoding, changing the, the format of the video. Uh, in this case, it will, it will take some time. So basically when I, I mean, I, I usually run this command if I'm doing this on a couple of videos and I go for a walk or I probably come back after some time, I don't really wait for it to happen. Uh, I don't really monitor the progress because it is time consuming. And of course, you know, I, can, I can't really give you any idea about the si uh, about the time it will take. But of course, it depends on the format you're trying to convert to. You can also do uh, 264-264, which is... Uh, uh, which is also fine, but it will produce bigger file size. H.265 is is really nice. It will create a very small file for you, but it will also take some time. So the time depends on uh, your computer as well. My computer is not really good. It is very old, 10 year old thing bad, but I'm happy with the outcome. If I'm making a video with uh, DSLRs or if I'm trying to reduce the size, I will use this format and this simple command and that is all that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye